1011 WJR, the rock station. Pat Lynch and Taco Bob. Uh, we were supposed to wrap up at 5 o'clock, the broadcast, but Aaron Lewis uh, was a little tardy. No. What? Hey, check, check your watch, break. dude. We're fine. Give yeah. him a break, Pat. He's out. He's out. Actually, you guys were the ones that were running behind, I do believe. That's what we were informed. Been waiting on you two all day. We will take the heat because totally. it was. I was here at 1 o'clock to do the interview with you. You were you were turkey hunting. You've no, been... I was back here by 1. It was his birthday yesterday. Happy Come birthday, on. by the way, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Big 4 0. Welcome, yes, welcome to our world. <laughs> hey, did you get gray pubes yet? No, uh, that hasn't started that to go great yet. I got I, I it's all over my face, but no. I don't know when it happens because I turned forty. I know I look sixty-two, but I turned forty recently, and I'm like, when do they come? You, yes. don't, look, you don't look a day over seventy, dude. Sweet, You're thanks. Fine. Love yeah. you. <laughs> wow, man, you had a hard life, didn't you? It wasn't the road. It was what do they say? The stops along the way <laughs> or something. Hey, just remember, you guys, if you ever need an RV, Dusty's Camper World, we're uh, representing out here. Sweet. <laughs> all, all the vendors are like, Pat, Taco, wear our hats. You, you guys hear it all the time, I'm sure. I'm like, nope, Dusty's. Dusty's Cause the, Camper cause, World. Because the dude Dusty hooked us up with a bus. We're it like, doesn't even sound real. It's awesome. <laughs> dude, it's, it's something you guys would stay in. It's an awesome bus. Sweet. We're, we're right near you guys, I think, back there. I'll right. try to avoid you. I'll try work. to make sure I stay away from that end of the buses. <laughs> Come on, what? Man. I know what you guys do in that bus. Oh, it was crazy last night. I bet it was. There were actually gunshots going off behind our bus last night. Two separate incidents, I swear to God. Sorry about that. Yeah, I thought it was you out there. <laughs> Wait, is it bow season or, or, or guns? No, I shot the turkey this morning with a gun. With a gun because yeah. my brother's a big hunter, and I, I don't follow it. I, I want to do it, but I can't party in the stand, he said. So I'm like, yeah, later. <laughs> where where were, were you, like in Narcoosie or something? Where'd no, you... I was within 15 minutes of this place. I'm trying to think. We've yeah. lived here all our lives, and we're trying to figure out where you might have been. Oh, I, yeah, I know exactly. You were, you were right back here on 417. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, it's my I brother. I know what that means. <laughs> yeah, trust me, you were right over this way near a toll road. My brother has a hunt lease out there. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. So you got a Turk today. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk music. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are out with Godsmack. They were just by. Um, Sully was the one who said that you had to go back uh, today because you didn't get one yesterday or something. Well, no, I would have gone today too. I see. Different I see. states, and you can you can only kill one a day, but you can kill two. So. Now that you've killed it and you have it, are, does the thing get dressed and you guys eat it tonight, or what's the deal? No, actually, because I'm having it mounted because it's my first Osceola, ah. um, it, it, it gets put in a pantyhose, actually, to keep all the feathers perfect and, uh, and sent to the taxidermist frozen hole. Who knew it was such a complicated thing? I just thought you'd go out there and blast the thing and be done with it. It's a pain. I just know from bass fishing, you got to stick that some bitch in the freezer and wrap it up in newspaper and stuff to get I it mounted. Yeah, yeah, I never totally. heard the pantyhose on a on a turkey. But well, that's it cool. keeps all the feathers all totally. where they're supposed to be, yeah. and they don't get all messed up. Right on. So you guys are out with Godsmack doing a run of dates, and uh, yeah. how? how <laughs> nice transition. <laughs> I, I, let's just move on from the whole turkey thing and pantyhose. It's just getting a little too weird, even for us. Even for us. You've never put your turkey in a pantyhose? I, I was thinking my chicken bag, <laughs> pantyhose. I... Gross. Yeah. Mike, you want to leave? I'm good. Dude, don't do that. Come on. What? Don't leave. We're not going anywhere. You can't leave. you got to go say hi to these listeners right here. They're waiting to talk to you guys. Uh, you guys were going to talk to them. We've been talking to them all afternoon. No, you've been talking to each other. You really think they want to talk to us? We've been doing pictures with them. They want to see you. So, anyway, Lynch. What? What? Why are you giving me the stink eye, pal? I'm not giving you the stink eye. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. Were. Mike, take care of that, please. Mike, give him a nut shot now because oh, that was man. stink eye. I don't oh. need a nut shot. I could use a cold beer. He, he turned 40 a couple years ago, so nut shots hurt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's one of them prostate dudes where you, you're next to him in the urinal and he's going, Ugh. I'm just kidding, man. That is not Pat, true. I'm totally kidding, bro. I, hey, my brother, the one I was talking about, the uh, his name's Sliz. Don't get into that. But he, the, the hunter I was telling you about, yeah. he uh, he went to the follow-up show that you guys did, uh, House of Blues, when you did the makeup show. Yeah. And I couldn't go because, you know, sick kid, and you got to do that for yeah, responsibility. Yeah. And he, he's in the country, and he said, the most amazing concert he has ever seen. Cool. Oh, so, cool. 
That is that is Very rad. Cool. Awesome. That is rad. And uh, just just so you guys know, we have been successful in not talking about music to any band today in any interview we've done. <laughs> well, you've achieved it yet again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys get asked the That's same good, crap yeah. every day. Why not talk about some other pretty, stuff, right? Pre- sure. Pretty much. We sure. we could do the cliche thing and say, "Hey, who are your influences?" Uh, <laughs> the hooker backstage. Weed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I won't even say it, Aaron. What? <laughs> we're, we're telling Aaron. Hey, Aaron, come on, dude. He's back there fatty. No, no I, I was waiting for Mike. I know. I'm I wasn't going to come and, and deal with you two alone. <laughs> I but, I've been so instrumental I would, in this I would have felt this, uh, very interview. attacked. <laughs> Mike, you're instrumental in everything, and I think when he said oh, that, I just got a booger. He, he totally just <laughs> picked oh, his ears on the radio. It was, it was, you made me laugh. You almost shot a booger. Your brain with that. Yeah. Eat it, eat it. I've never oh. seen the person bury their thumb so far into their... Oh and God. look at my thumb, too. That's you hardcore. Went, you went like third knuckle. Yeah, that's three. Oh, hey, your knuckle only has... Too. Oh, well, you know your thumb. <laughs> as long as as long as we're in this department, he's got a. I'd say account. I play guitar, guitar dude. All right. Oh, Internal God. or external? External. That's uh, why I'm back oh, like this because that breeze is hitting it. This no, it's is, good. Uh, this I'm is downwind our, too. Please this, stop. This, this is our world. It's got its own zip code. It's Just it. living it. <laughs> Three, two, seven. Oh man, this hurts. Guys, have a great show tonight. Thank you for coming <laughs> to my birthday. <laughs>